I used to sing in the church in the choir, you know, with all the boys treble, you know, that sort of thing. And they, the priests, took us to see Mary Poppins, you know, as they, as, you know, I'm sure they do still now. And um, I was fascinated by what I saw, you know, this magic character, you know, this, this amazing, surreal, uh, larger than life singing with such a beautiful voice that devastated me changed my life oh god i want to <laughs> i want to sing like that uh, julie was doing a show for the red cross in norway and i as soon as i saw that in the papers i said i'm going and i got a ticket and i went there and i arrived very early very early midday-ish and i could hear this woman singing this woman julie singing and of course there was guards there, but I thought, could I please go in? Yes, all right, they let me through. And then I saw her, the whole rehearsal of it, and that was amazing. After that, I've just been trying to, in a way, repay her by um, spreading the word. <laughs> Once a Julie fan, always a Julie fan. I managed to get an invitation to see Relative Values last year and go to the uh, um, post party afterwards. And that's where I met Julie Andrews for the first time, and it was magical. I just thanked her for all the films that she made and all the music that she's made and gave me so much pleasure, and that it helped me through an illness. And she just turned around and said, well, keep on fighting and don't give up. I was 10 years old, and uh, I was supposed to be singing. I, had, I was a soloist in, 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 in church, in the church choir. So I would step forward and sing my lovely, mm, my lovely little plain, um, Praise the Lord, whatever it was in Italian or Latin. And I decided to add that little twist, you know, that little Mary Poppins cadenza. Everybody just, you know, the congregation, the priests, everybody just thought it was. When you're a child and you sing um, as a boy treble and uh, you grow up and you love Julie Andrews, I think you've got two choices. You either grow up to be gay or to be a counter-tenor. I went for the double whammy and uh, became both. I think she was, she was very much a role, a role model. Um, I admired her professionalism, the way that she gives you know, 100% to everything she does. Um, and 
when I think about it, they are in fact qualities with which I was brought up as well. I don't know whether I would like to be Julie Andrews. Maybe I would. Maybe it's a secret desire I don't know about. And maybe we all, all want to be like Julie Andrews in some way or another. Hey,